With us now on the phone is general managing partner at Tangent Capital, Bob Rice. His company helps fund technology startups. Bob, thanks for joining us here on In the Loop this morning. Uh, tell me, it seems like most people surprised by this announcement this morning. Um, had you heard or had you heard of any speculation about a possible acquisition target? Hey, Lisa. No, we hadn't uh, at all. And it, it is a, a bit of an unusual uh, buy for Google because, of course, the handset business, the hardware business, is not exactly a high-margin, sexy business. Uh, Apple is a real exception in, in the space. And I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge for Google to turn that business around and, and make it the kind of high-margin business that investors are happy uh, and, and like the company for being in. Hey, Bob, it's Dominic here. One of the concerns that a lot of traders are talking about right now, this morning at least, is this idea that, that Google may have a lot of balls in the air juggling things around right now. Is this acquisition something that really kind of detracts from management's focus right now, or is this something that you think is a product portfolio enhancer, something that ultimately adds more value down the line, unlike other hardware kind of bolt-ons that, that, that these companies have made in the past? It's hard for me to see it as a huge enhancer, uh, honestly. I mean, the, if the patent portfolio is as robust as people say it is, it, it may be a really vital uh, defensive move for them because mobile is everything. One of the things that this tells you is the desktop, laptop era really is over for Google, and they're putting all their chips on, the, on, on mobile computing uh, going forward. And I think mobile computing is going to continue to drive a lot of industry changing deals like this one. But specifically in your question of management focus, consider this. Google only has 29,000 employees right now. They're picking up another almost 20 in this deal. So uh, I think your question about whether or not this could detract from their focus is an awfully good one because this is a huge, huge group of employees to pick up in a business that they've never run before. Bob, let me ask you, you know, everyone, shareholders on both sides of this deal seem quite happy, including Carl Icahn, but uh, what about regulatory hurdles? I mean, Google is definitely in the spotlight where Washington is concerned. Sure, they are, but I, I can't imagine, and, and uh, probably people will throw up a, a lot of smoke about this. I don't really think it's going to turn out to be a regulatory approval issue, given that you've got Microsoft and Nokia out there. Obviously, you've got Apple out there. Uh, they're they're going to be able to make a pretty strong argument that this is a robust and changing market and that more com competition is, is better than less competition. I don't think they'll have that much of a problem down there. I, I, I do think it's really a fascinating thing. One of the things you just noted was that Microsoft shares are trading up this morning, and people may be scratching their heads about that. But one of the reasons, I think, for that is now Microsoft is, can say to the rest of the handset world, hey, we're the only people provide a robust operating system and aren't competing against you because you know the two choices have been you know apple which of course doesn't uh, license the, the uh, os out to other handset makers and google uh, so you know microsoft i'm sure is on the phone to htc and samsung right now saying hey guys uh, if, you, if you may have liked android but i bet you don't like having the guy who makes android be your competitor so why don't you come on over to microsoft <laughs> bob bob one quick question here is there a chance that there is a bidding war that erupts? It wouldn't be Carl Icahn style unless there was some other kind of bidder he was trying to entice out of there. Is this the end all be all? Google's done with this now? I don't see that there's anybody else who could really come to the table with $12 billion for this patent portfolio. And, you know, Microsoft and uh, Apple and the consortium that bought the Nortel patents don't really need it. I, I think this is defensive in the sense, by the way, that, you know, a lot of these kinds of applications, when you're talking about uh, mobile and handsets and software all working together, it's a fruit salad of uh, intellectual property. And Microsoft and Apple have owned a lot of the, uh, some of the fruits, and now uh, we've got the situation where Google owns some of the fruits, so everybody's going to say, listen, if we're all selling fruit salad, we're going to have to cooperate here. And that's going to be the basis on which Google is going to be defending itself, because up until now, it's been the subject of some patent uh, lawsuits, and looks like it, was, it looked like it was going to be the subject of many more. All right. Thank you so much, Bob, for joining us here.